Hi everyone, it's Gabby from the Kia Hyundai channel and today I'm talking about a couple things I absolutely adore about the Kia Carnival. And I'm Charlotte and I'm telling you the things I love about the Kia Carnival. Let's get into it. I'll start off with a couple points I love about the Kia Carnival. Number one, take a look at this front grille. Not only is it beautiful, but if you take an even closer look, especially in the very center, you'll see some hidden cameras. So these cameras are integrated beautifully into the design, but they do a lot when it comes to safety and just overall driver experience. I'm gonna show you in a couple minutes, but let's start a camera count for now. On top of cameras, we also have front parking sensors that are integrated seamlessly into the bumper. They are body color. So no matter what kind of exterior paint you get, you'll know they're hidden and they don't stand out. Let's come off to the side and we're gonna take a look at the mirrors. So on both of our driver's side mirrors, we have another hidden camera integrated into the very bottom. Can you guess what that one's for? I'll tell you. So it combines for the full 360 camera effect. You're gonna get a view of each side of the vehicle. This is great because of course, it's a really big machine. It makes parking way easier and it helps you double check your surroundings so you always know what's going on around you as you're driving your vehicle. All right, now let's come to the back where we're greeted with even more parking sensors. So all along the rear bumper, we have again, ultrasonic sensors beautifully color matched in. Now, just below the eye in Kia, we have another backup camera, which we're kind of used to seeing, but nonetheless, it is extremely helpful and it does have parking guidelines that really help you know where you're gonna end up as you are moving your vehicle. Now let's hop inside and I'm gonna show you what those cameras do. So I'm in my car, Nival. I have quick access to my full 360 camera and my backup camera. And you notice as I move my steering wheel, that guideline is gonna move with me both on the 360 cam and the rear view cam. Now let's try something else. I'm gonna indicate a turn. You can use this for merging lanes or for making a full on left or right turn. This little allows you to see everything that's in your blind spot and uh, no teddy bears not included. <laughs> this is extremely helpful, especially even if you're parallel parking this machine. Again, it's big, like I mentioned, but that camera shows you where your rear tire is gonna end up, so it helps you perfectly align yourself with the curb, making sure you don't curb those beautiful, beautiful alloys. Everything's super similar inside, so Kia seamlessly blended the beautiful design of the front portion of the vehicle in the back, which I'll show later, with the technology. So first things first, you'll probably notice these huge screens. You get dual 12.3 inch displays, so your touchscreen with built-in navigation and a bunch of tech and safety features and even some passenger centered features which we'll show in a bit and then our 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster so this gauge cluster does a lot it's going to give you all your driving dynamics and it's also going to shift um, when you change your drive mode so check out eco mode versus sport mode all of this really adds to the driver experiences and makes it feel a little bit more elevated that's not it though our steering wheel although like beautiful design, it has a lot of tech and a lot of safety and it's all at your fingertips and very user friendly. On the right side is where you'll find your driver assistance. So this button's your cruise control. This is to set your speed and the toggle underneath it is to set your following distance. So that's right, this vehicle has advanced forward collision avoidance and smart cruise control. So essentially it will warn you if there's a risk of a collision, give you a notable or an audible message in the cabin, but also apply brake force if needed. Another thing it does is once you set your speed and your following distance, if the car ahead of you stops for traffic or whatever reason, your car is coming to a halt too and then right back up to a go. This completely transforms when you are on the highway and turns in a highway drive assist. That means that the vehicle's navigation, the smart cruise control, and the steering assistance all join together to create one fantastic feature that essentially drives you. It's super easy to use. You do have to give a little bit of driver input, so a steering wheel touch here and there, but I absolutely love it, and it's so, so safe and responsive. On the left side, we'll have some of our general things like our voice commands, our volume controls, and our phone buttons, which is just really nice to have at the touch of a button. Moving back to our screen though, this is where things get really fun and what makes the carnival very, very special. So as we slide over to our first page, you'll see we have passenger talk in passenger view. Passenger talk is gonna amplify my voice in the front of the cabin and project into the speakers in the back. So if you have kids or you drive a lot of people and they're very unruly, you can yell at them through the speakers. I love it. Now on the flip side, you can actually mute the speakers back there. So if you still wanna to listen to your music or your podcast, but your people in the back, maybe they're sleeping or they just don't care for it, you can mute those speakers with another touch of a button. Even further though, check this out. Passenger view is gonna show me a camera of what's back there and Charlotte's back there. Now Charlotte's gonna go over some talking points about what makes the carnival so, so special for her. The first thing I love about the Kia Carnival has got to be the seating in this vehicle. Not only are the driver and passenger seat eight-way power adjustable, but on the driver's seat you also have two-way lumbar support. To match, these seats are also fully heated to match the leather-wrapped heated steering wheel. 
Now the second thing I love about this vehicle has got to be the amount of space. And when it comes to cargo, this vehicle has it. Check out all the spots that we have to put little items, devices, and this huge center console. In addition to that, we have so many cup holders in this vehicle, so I think we should probably start the cup holder count. I've got two here, I've got two here, and there's even more in the back. Now, staying with the theme of upfront, we also have a wireless phone charger, and there's so many opportunities to charge in this vehicle, and we'll show more when we get into the back seat. And to top it all off is we have, not singular, not dual, but try zone climate control. Meaning if the driver wants their own climate, they can have it. If the passenger wants theirs, they can have it. Even in the back seat, guess what? They can have it. Now, if you're a parent and you do have kids back here, don't worry. You can lock the rear climate control from the front screen so you're still the one in control. Now, let's hop in the back and take a look at the device chart and keep that cup holder count going. We got two more back here with two more phone slots. We have household outlet, 12 volt, and dual USB-Cs, or USBs, USBs, on the back of these two chairs. Now, check out this seat. Let's keep talking about space, shall we? This folds flat down and it almost gives you a table or work-like surface, or it can fold up to be a seat. And the best part, if you don't need this seat and the eight-seater configuration, you can take it out and have a seven-seater configuration. There's so many things to love about the Kia Carnival. What do you love about it? Well, that sums up today's video. If you guys adore anything about the Kia Carnival, be sure to let us know down in the comments. Make sure that you subscribe, leave a like, and if you haven't already, comment what you love about the Carnival. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's bad? No, it's good. Are you literally?